Hello everyone, uh, we will start with uh, questions which are based on total differentiation. Here what is given u is given as x square plus y square and x is uh, as a further function of t x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to 280 which is y is again the function of t and in that case we have to find du by dt. So, use differentiation with respect to t which is indirectly connected to it. So, solution first of all we will start with the given thing u is equal to x square plus y square and what is whatever the value of x and y has been given to you. So, here by uh, total differentiation like if I will dry, uh, try the uh, to draw the diagram again like u is function of x and y and x and y is a function of t again. So, then if I want to find differentiation of u with respect to t, so how I can do it? So, first of all with respect to x like del u by del x as I said since u is a function of x and y two variables we have to use partial differentiation into dx by dt here plus du, del u by del y because it is a uh, u is a function of x and y and then dy by dt which is here. Now, here we have to find u is given for us. So, we will be finding here u is given x square plus y square. I will write it here. So, it is easy to understand. So, now if you want to find the value of del u by del x, what will be there? With respect to x, we will be differentiating it. So, it will be 2 x and y square's derivative will be 0 because it is a constant since we are differentiating with respect to x. So, this is what I have written here uh, del u by del x value. Now, uh, since x is given as 80 square, so dx by dt will be twice 80 that I have kept it here which is dx by dt's value. Now, similarly del u by del y, this is our u. Now, this uh, with respect to y if I will differentiate it partially, this x terms derivative will become 0 and y square will become 2y. This is I wrote it 0 plus 2y and dy by dt which will become 2a because our y is twice 80 that is given. So, with respect to t if you differentiate it, it will become dy by dt is equal to 2a. So, this is here the dy by dt's value I have kept it 2a. Now, by simply expansion uh, multiplying the, this uh, values what you will get is 4 a x t plus 4 a y. This is nothing but the value of d u by dt that is what uh, the things. Now, uh, here if you look x and y are the involved in this uh, answer in this thing which we are not which we do not want because when we are dif differentiating totally with respect to any variable then the final answer should be in the terms of that variable only means if I now here I am differentiating with respect to t. So, I want the whole answer should be in terms of t. That means, this x variable and y variable I do not want in this involved. So, how I can replace it because we have given the value of x and y here as x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to twice 80. So, instead of this x and y I can keep these values over there. So, 4 a into 80 square this is nothing but the value of x and this is nothing but the value of y I have kept it. So why? Because the whole answer I should get in the form of t because t is nothing but the uh, variable with respect to that which we are differentiating. So, the final answer I got it as du by dt is equal to 4 a square, a square t cube plus 8 a square t which is whole in terms of t. If I take some common 4 a square t I just took the common thing out. So, that final x uh, equa so, final answer I will get something in this format. So, this is how we simplified it and we found the uh, value final answer 
of du by dt. It was pretty uh, straightforward if you remember the formula of total differentiation and I explain how to remember like where to put del operator, where to use d operator. If you could understand that uh, it will be quite easy to solve the questions. And the uh, final thing which you have to keep it in mind is if you are differentiating uh, with respect to t or, um, or if you are differentiating with respect to any variable, the final answer should be in that variable form. Uh, so, somehow uh, you have to uh, see how you can replace it and then uh, the final answer should be in that format. Let us take a small break over here. Meantime, you can revise the concept. In the next video, we will be uh, discussing this more in details.